outer orange. Today. Ha! Huh. Well, would you look at that? Someone asked for a Fortia deck profile. And as you guys know, I am a big fan of Fortia. So let's go ahead and see what a new lyrical set Fortia deck looks like. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, fam. Welcome to Fortia Tortilla. It's been a second since I've talked about this deck because I ain't gonna lie. Ever since the Halloween set dropped, she just hasn't been the strongest deck. But really great budget deck. Still does pretty decently well. And her new cards that she got this set are actually pretty decent cards. So let's go ahead and talk about her. Let's talk about a budget, uh, a budget version of a lyrical deck. Now keep in mind, this is probably one of the best decks to budget out. You don't need to run Yuka. You can basically throw in a bunch of other friends' cards and you're good to go. This is a really easy deck to kind of flex in and flex out. You don't need to run all the expensive cards. I think. Roxelia might be the only caveat to this. I don't remember last time I checked if she's a pricey or not. If she's expensive, I'm sorry because she is important for the deck. But honestly, realistically speaking, you can also still run other slots and be perfectly fine. But yeah, this deck got this. This deck is probably one of the cheapest decks to build in lyrical right now, especially if you take out the Yuka. She's not mandatory. You can run other cards in her slot. I'm giving you the optimal build. If you choose to take that out, you just look up friends in the deck blog or or on, on TCG player. You'll find a ton of replacements. Is this is one of the easiest decks to, to basically uh, build out in my opinion? Anyway even even her her pretty versions of her cards are like cheaper uh, but let's talk about her real quick this is for tia this is the halloween version this is the newer version of her her dress up says she she is also the other one which is just the regular mimi for tia bigger bigger if you have another unit in the same comp as this unit and, and that unit they both become friends and if you have three or more she also gets an extra drive this is very important because you basically have triple drive when you ride up and she, it's not restricted to any any grades so basically you can instantly do this she's always had this where she was never really restricted to your opponent's grades which is what makes her super strong especially going first and she said if you persona roll this turn this cost may be paid with the counter blast to discard a card at the end of the battle this unit uh attacked if you have five or more friends you can discard a card with her tenant's card name and uh stand this unit and it gets minus two drives so basically it's a four drive turn as long as you can discard a fortia if you can't do it you can't restand so just something kind of keep in mind unless you persona road so sometimes you don't want the dead turn but realistically speaking you still get triple drive which also isn't bad either even if she doesn't restand so that's kind of her thing her ride line is pretty simple basically this one this one's kind of cracked if you just have a uh, common friends that includes the, the the unit behind vanguard you just basically ride up for free it's, it's just great free income i don't know and then the, the grade one basically says uh when this unit is wrote upon you call her out so basically you can call her behind vanguard and then guess what now you have your tk calm you have your friends condition this deck is really great at rushing by the way that's like a, what's really good at and the star doesn't matter basically speaking what you want to do is you run up to the grade one you want to put like maybe a friend's card somewhere just to kind of apply pressure if you're going second or if you're going first you just don't do anything then you ride up to the two the grade one comes out and then you basically instantly have an ATK column you play behind vanguard they're instantly in friends so you'll meet the condition of the of the of the ride up two to three because you will not have to discard a card now i will say if they remove the board yikes you definitely want to be careful of that that's where this ride link gets a little iffy because this deck is very very reliant on board you have your board get knocked down you get really it gets really bad now there now we did get some new cards that revive cards we do have a promo that revive cards too but i hated that card that was definitely a card meant more for for Herminia than for for the fortia but so i cut i i will never play that card you guys can play that card if you want i won't touch that card it's a little great too the r is really pretty but i ain't i ain't a fan so if we are running the double for tm you kind of have to especially if you're trying to go for that restand and everything it is not expensive to do it and also you need persona like crazy in this deck this deck absolutely wants to persona ride as much as possible so risk speaking you do want to have this as much as, as much as you can you can up a fortia copy and drop a yuka copy if you want or you can drop the garter strip completely and also run a fortia copy in that slot if you want to go down that path i don't recommend four of the old one but i do recommend running at least two at least two for sure you can bump it up to three if you want up to you as best that what you want to do you don't want to clutter your hand with like great threes either so you know be mindful of sort of where you go down this path so basically if you ever want to ride into this you can but i would not recommend it i would avoid this she also has a rear guard is also a frenzy unit so you can also just drop her down and bounce her back to hand so, you know ideally so she can also just be an attacker just to keep in mind you notice i'm running a lot of friends cards you want to run as many as you possibly can because this deck is completely offline if you don't have the condition and it really doesn't work too well if you don't have it and also if your opponent board wipes you need a way to recover it let's talk about the new card this is ravana she basically says it, it she has the friends condition so first effect same unit as, if you have another column the same unit as her or if you have another column with uh with another card that's a friends card to both friends when this use place a bigger circle you can also as you buy you choose a card with a friend ability and a different card name from this unit and from dropping add to hand this is really useful you can do this on turn two by the way drop her down if you discard a friend unit guess what's back in your hand i can play it so it basically makes it so your discards don't hurt as much now because in the past we'd have to discard friends units and not be able to really recover them you can recover them now so you don't have to be fearful of discarding as much especially when you're riding up so it's really really convenient there uh, she doesn't have any power which is like definitely her biggest downside but the upside is you get to revive cards so in a pinch she comes up and she's really good in that aspect 
we got the older card this is the halloween card basically this just has a ton of power on her she just that's all she is she's just a ton of power if your points are grade three she gets even bigger Roxelia is insane. She gets power. She's a friend's card. With the other one's a friend's card too. And then also on top of that, she can bounce a card. She can bounce a card that isn't herself. That 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 on on a different, basically somewhere else. So you can choose another rear guard somewhere else that isn't her. You can bounce it back to hand. So basically, you have the ability to bounce. This is the new grade one. She's also really good. Also has the friend's condition. During your turn, if you have a grade three or greater vanguard uh, with the Fertian's card name, this and, and this unit's a friend's. All of your units in the same column as this unit gets plus five k. And it includes herself, so you unit in front of it also gets plus 5k, so that's basically another 10k buff to, to your column, which is really strong since you're going to be attacking your vanguard, hitting triggers, all that stuff, it just makes the numbers bigger. So she's also really good to run. Got PGs. Yuika is just insane. Yuika makes it so you can rush and then bounce your front row back to your hand so your opponents force the swing face. And also makes it so that they can't touch your rear guards if they're in the front row. So basically what the, the combo is, I've talked about this combo a lot, so I've got to I've gotta go through it a little fast. But basically the combo is you attack with something else first, and then you attack with Roxelia. Roxelia's Roxel skill will bounce the card you attack with in the front row, and then Yuika will bounce the Roxelia. Basically that way you always have the front row empty, and it will make it easier for you to replenish your board, especially when you're going into the friends unit. Your back row, your, your vanguard back row column has a friends card in it, so you already have the condition of friends when you write up, so you don't have to fear about that. About that as much it just makes it a lot easier so as long as your post a person the, the opponent you're facing doesn't snipe the middle the middle back row column down you'll be able to ride for free because that's the scariest thing is when you do something like that and then they snipe that back row card and then you're like oh all my cards out of friends units so sometimes maybe you want to keep the full board and not bounce so you got to make that decision as you go through we have the guard restrict this card is very heavy on cost sometimes but you can I, if 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 the fortia the halloween fortia said put a fortia into soul um this would actually be easier to proc but because you go through so so much with yuika this almost never comes up if you want to remove this and put a fortia in have at it i'm throwing in the guard trick just as a cheesy thing because the the guard trick is annoying the, the fortia can be really annoying depending on when you apply the guard restrict so yeah it's just it's just you know it is a quad drive turn and under guard trick makes it a lot harder to deal with we do run this this is just extra draw you can really stick around melty in this slot too but it's a little bit more counter blast heavy Wh whichever route you go you can also run more beaters in this slot as well you don't have to necessarily run this i think yeah you got to draw quite a bit you want to see a lot of your deck we're not running cyclers in this deck so you really need other ways to draw this is some of the best ways to do it so that's why you run her i would have just triggers you can run fronts i value the draws i've been back and forth between them over the years of playing for tia i usually just end up playing draws just because it's more optimal um, and with a deck like this, we're running the blue OT because the, we have a vanguard centric deck and the crit does matter. So this is the extra crit. You can run the red one if you feel you want to justify the rear guard approach. It's, it is good to have the extra attack. This is a four attack deck. You can make it a five attack deck with the red OT. But I will say, I think in the long run, the blue OT is just a better thing, especially if you apply the guard restrict. Your opponent will usually die if you basically have the blue OT and, and you and you uh, boost it with the guard restrict. Bro. It's basically like, a, like an OTK at that point. They can't really guard live through that unless they're like food in. Uh, or you hit the OT early, it just doesn't matter. Also, just getting cards back to hand is also just really good with a card like this, especially with a deck that's so reliant on a board. So that's why you also want this card over like some other cards because you'll be able to get back defense cards, PGs, crits, and this deck really, really, really respects that. So this is why you want the blue OT in here. One, this is one of the few times you'll hear me really praise the blue OT because I, I'm not, I'm not a blue OT enjoyer. I very rarely play it, but this is one of the few decks where I play it. And I've talked about this a lot. I think Vanguard centric decks just prefer blue OT if they have, if they don't have another option. If you can't afford it, or you know, if you if you if you want to go a little bit more budget friendly, you can also run the lyrical OT. That's fine too i definitely think blue is the optimal one purple isn't terrible either but you usually have a call like a full board so if you got if you check the purple one you have to call over cards which feel bad so i definitely think blue is the bad one the best one yellow isn't too bad either because it lets you draw a ton of cards while also clearing your opponent's board which is again because it's a vanguard centric deck and their opponent usually has to guard the vanguard you can sometimes break through that guard with the yellow t and kind of close out that way too so kind of up to you which one you want to experiment with more um i value the blue one but i think the yellow one's not too terrible in a deck like this either that's basically for tia that's everything i can think of that i can talk about uh matchup wise as long as this deck doesn't see retire matchups it's actually pretty good but the issue we are in a doji uh, format newbie also has been existing existing for a couple months now and those two decks just kind of cream this deck to oblivion um so this ideally is not uh, a good choice usually to play it's, it's the reason i got off it actually because uh the when once there's too many removal decks this deck really really suffers 
uh, into that. It is really good. It has some of the craziest going first turns. It's basically different Leticia is what I've always called it because they both like rely on this whole like, hey, I can swing in your face twice without caring what grade you're on, which is very impactful because sometimes you can just close out randomly. But the downside is definitely the board. Your board really suffers. This deck doesn't have that much defense either. There's no special orders or special cards you can really run. And because you're forced into the friends engine, you're forced to run the friends cards over maybe some techs you want to run. You can get away with a tech or here. You can maybe get away with another order, like a shield order, something like that. You can maybe, like I said, remove this, this garter strike for that. But it's so risky because the minute you don't draw into like one extra friends card or whatever, like those, those situations when your print goes through your entire hand and you really need the top deck to be a friends card and it's not, that's when this deck loses. That's why Yuika sometimes can be a caveat against you as well. But that's basically just how the deck is. It's it's an archetype that's very reliant and needs the friends card cards to kind of keep going. But the, the upside is that you get this insane board presence all the time if your point doesn't, doesn't respect it and you can just basically beat face turn after turn turn and your numbers just get really big that's basically for tia you know a cool little vanguard deck for tia tortilla overlordo you know all that kind of fun stuff but i'm gonna end it there 50 cards out shop code orange infinity goodies these cards are relatively cheap you might you'll be able to find them on a shop you can use my code to save yourself some money if you really just want to try another deck or just try something different maybe you're tired of your old decks this is a really great deck to pick up like i said it's really cheap if you really just want to mess around with something and i you'd be surprised sometimes this deck just really performs out of nowhere uh, oh thank you thank you to the person that said that asked me to upgrade update the deck i hope you find this useful if you have any questions feel free to leave them below but on that guys peace out that's for that. I'll see you guys in a future video. Bye!